All right. Well, <clears throat> today is actually, it's a very cold winter's day today, but uh, beautiful, just the same. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do today is, uh, if you've ever dealt with uh, <clears throat> a wood, an, a wood called uh, alum, uh, you can, uh, you find out pretty quick that it can be, certain types of it can be really hard to split. So what I wanted to demonstrate today is, uh, if you don't have a hydraulic splitter or something, there's a, a very good way to rip it with a chainsaw. And uh, I have a couple blocks here already blocked up. And uh, I'm just going to give a little demonstration on how that that can be done quite easily with your chainsaw. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to make some noise here in a minute. But uh, uh, just give me a second. I'll get the chainsaw going and we'll rip some. All right. So I got a couple of blocks here. When they get knots and stuff in them, they even get harder. You can see right there, there's a knot and and this stuff, I'm telling you, it can be awful stuff to split. So anyway, I see a, I see a lot of times where uh, they'll try to rip a block cutting down in the end grain. Uh, chain does not like that. Um, it just seems though, when you take and lay it down and you come in at it from the side, makes a big difference. I'm going to show you that right now. I'll demonstrate that. I think you can see pretty good right here. Uh, this might have to be, have to be choked. Really easy to do, but you can see, <laughs> I'll just show you like what I cut through. You can see that right there, knots and so on. And this wood, when you try to split it by hand, as lots of you know, I'm sure, it is a bugger. Anyway, I'm going to hit a block here with the splitting mall a couple times and just show you. Same wood, just little blocks too. I only cut my wood a foot or so long. But anyway, here is a block of it, right on frozen ground, nothing overhead. Oh, yep, look at that, it just barely marks it. And you can swing at that. Just gnarly, right to the end. Look at that, still holding. I'll try it one more time. Still holding. Finally. So anyway, you can see why. The old grain and stuff is so crooked and hard. I just find the chainsaw a lot easier. Unless you have your hydraulic splitter out. But if you just want to do a few blocks in the woods or whatever, it's handy to rip them. So, at any rate, and a bonus to that is, look at this stuff. Just stringy, 
beautiful sawdust. Chickens love it. They just, this is great batting. They puts that to use too. I just fill these bags up with it. You got some beautiful bedding and and uh, alum is an interesting wood uh, in this area that I live in we used to have all kinds of alum but the Dutch alum disease is one will just grow a little bit and then it'll kill it for some reason they just keep dying off so anyway it makes good firewood we use it for firewood and uh, <laughs> the only thing is most of it's hard to split but uh, we used to also make boards uh, uh, things like that out of the logs and uh, back in years gone by we used to make troughs for pigs so on out of, out of alum because alum was one of the hardwoods that that a pig if you if you made a, a trough out of cedar or pine or something for a pig, they literally would eat the trough right up. So wouldn't last no time. But when you did it out of this stuff, out of alum, that lasted a long time. It's like like the heart of steel almost. I, I know that we have had our old barns and stuff in this area and so on. You get some old planks out of them. And you want to fasten them or do something with them you you have to drill you have to drill first in order to actually put a nail through because you try to drive a, a spike or something through a chunk of alum it barely will mark the wood that's how hard this stuff is but when you put a block of alum in your on a in your fireplace for the night you usually will wake up to a beautiful bed of coals and it throws a beautiful heat so it's dying uh, all the time around here but we just process it into firewood and it makes excellent excellent firewood I just thought I'd show you that little ripping thing with the chainsaw I know a lot of you know that already but but uh, I just thought I'd give a demonstration there I was showed that a long time ago, many years ago. So, anyway, this is the first time that uh, I have done a video like this. So, if I'm going to probably put this one up on YouTube there, and uh, if somebody watches it or I get a few views or something, I will do another one. I'm always doing uh, mostly always outdoor stuff. And uh, I don't know, I see all kinds of outdoor things on YouTube, and I love it. I love watching YouTube and learning, I learn a lot of stuff. But it's kind of cool, like uh, you can almost do nearly the same thing, but just a little bit different the way somebody else will do, you know, ripping a block or, or uh, you know, just the, the it's endless the ideas out there so I hope I can help somebody with this these are going into the fireplace for tonight so thanks a lot for watching and take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye bye